Okay, this uh, episode covers the ideas behind the electric field uh, strength or intensity. It gives us some idea of how much force we can get per coulomb of charge from an electric field. Uh, so we have here a charge, something that has been charged, with a capital Q, and again Q is a symbol for charge. Um, that source charge creates a field, a space around it, in which other charges can be influenced. Uh, now here we have a test charge. Um, the test charge is often symbolized by a small q uh, with a small zero, like a q naught, um, and it's called the test charge. Test charges are always positive. Okay, so they will um, move in, in the direction of the positive charge would. Now this charge, uh, q, which I'm assuming to be positive at this point is a distance d, center to center distance d, away from the uh, little test charge q. Uh, with both of them being positive, it will provide an electric force that will push that charge to the right, because I, I like charges repel. Now, the electric field strength, which is analogous or very, very similar to our concept of a gravitational field strength, uh, is not an actual uh, measure of the amount of force, but it gives us some idea of how much force we could get depending on uh, how much charge we try to move through that space. Uh, in gravitational field strength, we called it uh, little g, and it varies based on where you're located. Uh, here on the Earth, it's approximately 10 newtons per every kilogram. So it was um, the force for every mass, amount of mass that we had. Well, same idea. Mass is a fundamental property of matter. Charge is a fundamental property of matter. So in the electric field strength, we get the amount of force per charge that is in that particular electric field. Now, that's going to be measured in the units of force, which are the newtons, uh, and per divided by the units of charge, which are the coulomb. Now, if you actually need to know how much the electric field is, if you know the charge on your little test charge here, all you have to do is divide that by whatever amount of force it actually feels. So that's kind of why the idea we call it a test charge. I put the charge into the field, into the space around the source charge. I measure how much force is on it, and now I can tell how strong the electric field from this object is at that point. Now, it does vary with distance, uh, similarly to little g, the gravitational field strength. That always varied with distance in terms of uh, the farther we got from a planet, uh, the less force of gravity the planet had. So it's similar, so here's how that works. Um, the force of the electricity, you know, not the field strength, the actual force, is given by the uh, Coulomb's law, which is k, the constant, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons per meter times meter squared divided by Coulomb squared, uh, multiplied by the charge, in this case the test charge, multiplied by the charge, in this case the source charge, and it's divided by the center to center distance between them. That's Coulomb's law. Uh, and D, again, is the center between the, uh, the separation distance between the charges in meters, and it is between the center of each charge. Now, if we want the electric field strength, the symbol for electric field strength is E. Uh, what we're going to want to do, we said in the previous section there, that the electric field strength E is the force, F, divided by the test charge, Q0. Now, this little thing up here is Q0, the electric test charge. So if I take Coulomb's law from above, k dot q naught times uh, big Q, the source charge, divided by uh, distance squared, that's the force, so I've replaced this with this, and then I divide that whole thing by the little test charge, q naught, I can get a way to calculate the variation of field strength with uh, distance. Uh, the test charge cancels out, and we are left with the electric field strength is K, electric field, um, the electrical, electrical constant, Q, the source charge, and then divided by the distance squared. And that's the center to center distance. So because it is a um, 
distance squared, this is again another example of an inverse square relationship. So if you double the distance you are from a source charge, so say at this point we have a force of F, if I go twice as far away, two times the distance, then my force and therefore my electric field strength will be one quarter of what it was before because it's one over two squared because we doubled the distance. Uh, if we triple the distance then we'll have one ninth of the field strength that we had before. So the electric field strength drops off pretty quickly. You don't have to be get away too far from an object to notice to not notice its electric field anymore. Uh, same as it was for gravity. Okay, so uh, both of those are available to you on the data card. Uh, one is on the side with gravitational forces and mechanics. The other side is on the electrical side. And that's it for electric field strength and intensity. Uh, biggie.